Hello humans and fur babies and welcome back to my channel. In today's second instalment in the Inside the Round Versus series we'll be looking at arguably the most famous painting in the world. The Mona Lisa. Interpreted in the Inside the Round way. The ITR anagram title of this painting is No Salami. Keep on watching. So as mentioned by our host, today we're going to be interpreting the Mona Lisa. When I am pulling apart all of the electronics to get all of the bits and pieces to use to make other things, one thing that they all have are circuit boards. You know, I'm not electrical, so I don't know what to do with these circuit boards, but I have quite a lot of them. So what I'm going to do is basically create a patchwork or a puzzle of the Mona Lisa using the circuit boards as the puzzle pieces. To do this, I need to break down the Mona Lisa into more geometric basic shapes. So finding the main shapes and elements within the painting to give myself a template to cut out from. Okay, now we've got our puzzle template printed off. I'm just going to cut it all out. I made two copies. So I've still got one puzzle left and this is all going to be puzzle pieces. So I'm using an X-Acto knife so I can be X-Acto. So this is the carnage left after ripping apart all of the uh, Power boards. Circuit boards. They're called circuit boards, bro. Yeah, all the little doobalackies and stuff that I took off. Let me show you how I'm now breaking it down. I'm going to make all of her skin tones out of this piece. So I have to work out where I'm going to cut all that from that colour. Sky bit I'm going to cut from this piece. I'm going to have to put an extra seam in here, but that's fine. Her whole dress, I'm going to make out of this piece. I like all of these duva luckies. I think they're going to look like sequins and embellishments. So I have to make that fit on there somehow. Her hair, I'm going to make out of this. That's going to go there. And then I'm going to put another cut in here. So that'll be this side of the hair. And then this little part, I'll probably cut out of something here. This little green bit here, I'm going to cut from here, this to this piece here. I like all of these pieces, it's very neat and tidy. This piece here, and this piece here, I'm going to cut from this piece as well. The last piece, which is here, I'm going to cut out of a piece of metal that I have. And then I've got these two pieces spare in case anything screws up. Now I'm going to see how difficult it is to cut this stuff. So I've never tried to cut it before, but I'm probably going to break a few blades. We're just going to start. So I might start with the facey bits. Once it's cut, I'll put it in the box. I'm going to be wearing a mask and gloves and glasses. Yay! One piece cut. Now, shit ton more to go. Things I learn along the way, 
putting things in place with Bluetack really helps to work out where things are going to fit. And because of all of the bumps and things on the circuit board, it's, it's hard to hold it down without like pricking your finger and also holding it down while working where the puzzle is going to fit. Bluetack saved me. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to start gluing. This is all fitting together really nicely. I'm really happy there's very little gapage between it. All of this stuff needs a bit of TLC. So I think it's easier for me to set some things in place, trim bits and pieces down to fit in as I go, as opposed to trying to fit it all at the moment. So yeah, starting to glue. Obviously, I need to move it over quite a bit. Okay, I'm gonna start with this panel here. There's a lot of things interlock with this. She appears in a three-quarter pose, slightly turned to her right, but she directs her face and chest towards the viewer. She even seems to be looking directly at the viewer, or at least outside the painting, giving her a daring, enigmatic character and connecting us with her solidified 16th century world. This is where she's at. I removed a couple of the fusy things, it was too busy. I just kept this quite plain because there's so much happening. I uh, cleaned it all up, I put on this little rim because I'm going to do a resin pour over the top of this. But I'm kind of nervous as hell because I've never done it before. So I just want to capture what it was like in case I really f*** it up. Okay, so this is my first resin pour. I'm very nervous because this has taken me a long time to do and I don't have any more circuit boards left so if this doesn't work uh, I have to do something completely different. I'm not feeling super confident because it's totally out of my comfort zone. Um, also I don't have like a two-part epoxy that I just mix together one-to-one -one or whatever like everybody else on YouTube seems to be able to buy. All I can buy here is this polyester resin fiber, which comes in a crab meat can. So, crab claw meat. Uh, not that confident. This is my hardener and the bottle's leaked. So I'm gonna be guessing the ratio. What I do know is that it has to be on a level surface because it's liquid and if it's not level, it's going to be uneven or pour out. So this seems to be the most level spot in the studio, luckily, because it's right under the filming area. So I guess, without further ado, <coughs> I've just got to get stuck into this. Oh God, I'm nervous. The other thing I know about resin is that it bubbles. So you have to use like a butane torch like this to burst the bubbles. Okay, so I've got this handy. Got this, got this. Right, we're gonna pour. It's fucking pink. I hope that dries clear. And I don't know how long I have before it goes hard either. No instructions. It's fucking pink. Hardening. Okay. I guess it's flammable. How the fuck do I get the bubbles out? Okay, it's definitely starting to harden. I've got bubbles, but I don't know that there's much I can do about that. All right, well, that's the pour.
So what happened was, it was pink, and also it heated up so much that it melted all the glue, and all the glue came unstuck, and then it shrank, and it buckled. I'm still committed, and I'm going to make it work. No Salami, ITR versus Da Vinci 2020. Woodboard, wood blind, circuit board, CD player, plastic straps, resin, acrylic paint. Enjoy today's episode of ITR Versus, the second installment in the ITR Versus series. No Salami makes it the third artwork to appear on the gallery wall. As usual, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe by pushing the red button below, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comments section if there's an artwork you would like to see ITR reimagine. Until next time, take care.